Hey everyone and welcome back for another Govi install tutorial. About 5 months ago I posted a video on the Govi Pro install black version on a home we did in Canyon Lake, Texas. I'll be linking the video on the top right if you haven't seen it. In this video our client called us to return and add another 100 feet to his previous top devices and we'll also be adding the LED module driver that was purchased separately. On the previous install the bottom device had a total of 5 strands while the top device had 6 strands. With the Gobi Pro lights you can install past 150 feet as long as you have the LED module driver which gets installed after the 5th strand connection. Since we're on a previous install, I always like to do a quality check of my last install I did before I get started with any new work. After 5 months of the install, still solid of a hold. Take your install above the manufacturer's recommendations and you'll be enjoying your lights for a long period of time. Stay tuned and check out my next Gobi video where we finally incorporated the 3D mounts everyone has been talking about on the Gobi social platforms. I'll be giving you the pros and cons on using 3D mounts for the Gobi lights. So I got my ladder set up already and ready to go. First I'll install the LED module driver and then I'll install my lights after. I've located the fifth strand connection and that will be right here in this location. This is what the LED module driver looks like. You will find these on the 200 foot kit pros only. You can now purchase these separately like I'd mentioned. It does clearly state on it, installed behind the fifth string of lights. And it also says only for the model H706C, but that's not true. You can install these on the H706A 100 foot kit like in this edition video, H706B 150 foot kit after you have installed either one of these models. Six extra strands would need to be purchased in order to get to your 200 foot. Do not attempt to install this module on the non-pros. Here's the end of my six strand on the previous install. I will be adding six more strands to equal a 200 foot completion. Then when the install is complete, I will change the amount of segments in the app right here. As always, lay your strands out like I have shown here to either have the sun flimsy the strand out or to have a view of what your overall estimated length will be. Since we did the front of the house 4.5 inches off the wall, we will be doing the sides 4.5 inches, but the back side will be doing 2 inches off the wall since there's a small overhang over the porch area. This is the power supply adapter and controller from the 100 foot Pro kit. The Pro Lights power adapter outputs 3 amps versus the non Pro Lights with 2 amps. This is why you get more overall length with your installs. The attempt to use this model type on the non Pros will not work due to the connections of the power adapter to the controller being different. Pros have an auxiliary and the non Pros have a coaxial. I'll be showing how I will mount the LED module. I will be removing the 3M film from the back, making the connections, and then mount it. To avoid respacing your lights, I'll give you an example on how to clip the excess wiring to secure the LED driver. You can screw it into the hole there, use a brad nail gun, or crown nail to secure both sides. This part is four and a half inches out. Then I will continue with two inches in.
Let's get started with the install with the time lapse. I want to point out some detail I did here. This is not always the case, but it's something definitely to consider. Instead of moving your whole install to miss the floodlight mount, there are ways like what you see here to avoid obstacles like this. After spending some time in the backyard of my client's house, I now see why their interest in installing Gobi Pro lights back here was because of the view. You have a Gobi house with two street views and it will draw interest to go look at the front as well. So the install is complete. I went ahead and powered them on so I can make sure everything is working properly. I have added the new segments in the app to 12. Here's the LED module driver once again. Clean turns and every light space 2 inches here in the back.
Then continue four and a half inches here to match the front. If you found this content useful, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of it. Now let's transition over to what it looked like during the sunset. 